How does this fully laden ship float on water? Logic Steel is heavier than water. A steel block sinks when it is dropped in water. So, a ship made of steel must sink too. Reality The steel ship, although larger and heavier than the block, floats. How can we explain this? This lesson will answer this question and enable you to understand the principles of flotation and Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle When a body is immersed in a fluid, it displaces the fluid. The body experiences an upward force called buoyancy. The downward pull due to gravity is called weight. Objects of equal volume experience equal buoyant force. When a ball is immersed in water, it takes the place of a volume of the water equal to its own volume. Thus, the buoyant force on the ball is equal to the weight of the water displaced it. If the weight of the body is less than the buoyancy when fully immersed, the body will float. For an immersed body, if the density of the body is lesser than the density of the fluid, the buoyant force is larger than the body weight. The body rises up till equilibrium is attained by reduction in immersed volume. For an immersed body, if the density of the body is equal to the density of the fluid, the buoyant force is equal to the body weight. The body is in static equilibrium. If the weight of the body is greater than the buoyancy when fully immersed, the body will sink. For an immersed body, if the density of the body is greater than the density of the fluid, the gravity pulls the denser object down. A ship is designed to displace more water than its maximum displacement, hence it floats. A steel block sinks as the water it displaces is inadequate to support its weight.